Good morning, everyone. This is Louis Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI. And today, I want to dive into an important topic, why not all large language models are equal. In fact, treating them all the same can lead to missed opportunities. Let's see why ChatGPT shouldn't be the only tool in your box, especially when we have an evolving lineup of diverse LLMs, each with unique strength. In this video, we will break down how to choose the best model for the job and then, in our practical section, use an awesome, easy, no-code benchmark tool built by the sponsors of this video, Integral, to compare LLMs and even use the multi-agent systems that we've built in the previous video that draws from multiple models in parallel. So what makes an LLM better than another? Well, it depends on what you are looking for. Accuracy, speed, cost, or something else. Evaluating LLMs can be a challenge because new models are constantly being released, and the best options shift frequently. In a recent post, Clémentine Fournier from Hugging Face highlighted the importance of evaluation metrics and practical use cases. We also know from my previous videos that evaluation isn't just about one benchmark. It's about assessing across multiple dimensions. Remember, an LLM is not the same thing as the system or app that runs it. ChatGPT, for example, is an interface for GPT models, but it's not the only way to leverage those capabilities. This distinction becomes really important when we think about which model is best for which job. Although LLMs share similar core functionalities, they vary significantly in performance, cost, and best use cases. Relying solely on one system like ChatGPT may mean that you are not getting the most efficient or cost-effective solution. Think of it like a toolbox. Just as you wouldn't use a screwdriver for every fix, you shouldn't use just one LLM for all your needs. Let's talk about some differences between popular LLMs. For example, models like GPT-4O might lead the pack in certain accuracy benchmarks, while smaller models like Llama 8B can be more efficient and much, much cheaper for easier tasks. Accuracy, speed, and cost. Each of these factors impacts which model is best for a given situation. For example, Cloud 3.5 Sunnet by Anthropic is designed to handle complex conversational tasks and reason through questions. I really love it for coding and writing. Llama 3 by Meta is the latest version of the Llama series with models ranging up to 405 billion parameters. It has an expanded context length of 128,000 tokens, making it particularly effective for handling long-form text, maintaining context, and performing complex reasoning tasks efficiently. Gemini is ideal for managing the longest documents and maintaining context over extended inputs making it suitable for tasks involving extensive content. GPT-4O from OpenAI often shines in generating coherent human-like text and complex problem solving, but at a higher cost. Of course, O1 is also amazing, but has much more latency and higher cost as well. CodeLama is a specialized model for code generation with variants fine-tuned for Python and other coding tasks, making it a great option for developers looking to streamline their workflows. You can think of these models like specialists. One may be better at reasoning, another at generating creative content. For tasks like coding or complex reasoning, GPT-4O or Cloud 3.5 Sunnet might be your go-to. But for simpler generation and answering basic questions, a lighter model like Llama or Gemini Flash might be a smarter choice. When you rely on a single model, you risk missing out on advantages like cost savings or the ability to handle specific tasks more effectively not to mention the challenges of downtime. Recently, Integral mentioned the importance of testing models before migrating, especially considering OpenAI's discontinuation of older versions of GPT 3.5. Switching to a different LLMs could save a lot of trouble during such transitions. Now, let's move to the practical demo using Integral's benchmark tool to compare different LLMs side by side. First, you can easily compare LLMs side by side, which is super useful for quality checks or vibe checks. You always need to check answers and do some edge case tests yourself. Then there's the amazing part. Integral has built its own benchmark tool, which provides an easy way to evaluate how various models perform on the same task, comparing factors like accuracy, cost, and speed. You just create your benchmark with questions and answers the LLM should provide. 
In my case, it was the understanding of the meta GPT paper, which I sent to the system we built in the previous video to extract relevant information and generate social posts out of it. Here, I created questions and answers to confirm the model's understanding of the paper. But you can create any custom evaluation you want to do. Then, you simply select all models you want to test like that and run. Finally, this is the nice part. You can grade all the results. They've built their internal fine-tuned model to be able to grade results and even explain its grading. It will go through all the model's answers and grade them with an explanation for each grading. You can finally get an overall ID of what model performs best for your task and dive in more to see why it generates better results. You can also take the time to understand the results and whether these are what you really want. For instance, as you see here, sometimes models generate responses that are way too long, which often biases the evaluation to mark it as a good answer as it contains all relevant information, where a simple bullet list would have been much better and much easier to read. This is why it's important to manually check and add such details to your evaluation criteria to look out for this. Here, we see that gpt 4 o is still outperforming all other models for this task, which isn't that surprising, as always. Okay, and to wrap things up with using various LLMs, there are clear advantages to using multiple LLMs in your workflow instead of trying to pick the average best at all task. You can get the best performance for each part of a task by leveraging the strength of different models. For example, Cloud might be better at generating creative content, whereas Gemini is ideal for maintaining context over longer inputs. This also helps manage model downtime, ensuring that you are not reliant on a single API and a single company. Remember, even though Integral's benchmark tool is super useful, LLM evaluation isn't just about using one benchmark. It's ideal to assess models with multiple evaluations like Big Bench, Truthful QA, MMLU, Word in Context, and the LMSys Arena, for example. Using multiple benchmarks gives you a well-rounded view of the strengths and limitations of each model. Now, let's take a step further by creating a system that asks multiple LLMs to solve a task in parallel, ensuring you get the best answer possible. Kind of like having a team of specialists working together. This is where multi-agent applications come into play. With tools like Integral, you can build workflows that allow different LLMs to collaborate on a problem with each model focusing on what it does best. In my previous video, we built a full multi-agent system. Here's a quick recap as it also leverages different LLMs for each task. As you know, I often cover new papers and techniques in the field on the channel. A part of what I do is to post them on LinkedIn and Twitter to summarize the key insights from the papers. It requires me to read the paper, understand what the researchers did, if it's relevant, and synthesize it into clear bullet points. Of course, ChatGPT can do a good job at it if you send the paper, but it often requires multiple back and forth. And we also want to have a version for LinkedIn and another for Twitter to work with threads of maximal length. It can be done again with ChatGPT, but it still requires again some back and forth. And then we'd like a nice, cute, and funny image, right? Again, more back and forth with DALI or another image generator of your choice. Instead, I replicated this process in one multi-agent workflow that simply needs the PDF as inputs and generates the rest individually. It goes through the first agent, which is Gemini for longer context, which extracts the relevant text from the paper. Then we have three other agents in charge of making the post and the image with specific prompts each. I used gpt 4 o and DALI for those, but Cloud would have been interesting as well to try. And likewise for the image generation model, which you can all easily pick right from the Integral Studio. This would have been impossible with just one chat system, or less robust and much more complex with lots of back and forth using a single LM. So next time you have a task at hand, don't just reach out to ChatGPT by default, especially if it's a recurring task. Think about what you need, accuracy, speed, cost effectiveness, and pick the right LLM accordingly. If the task is redundant, consider building a more complex agentic system to automate much of the process, which we cover in depth in our other video with Integral. Also, always remember to use multiple evaluations like Big Bench, Truthful QA, MMLU, Word in Context, the LMSys Arena, and Integral's custom benchmark 
for your task. Please try out their tool with the first link below and let me know what you think. I really love it on my end. Thank you for watching the video throughout and if you found this useful, please don't forget to subscribe for more AI insights. I'll see you in the next one.